Heh. Disturbing your precious time. Thought you had privacy on this island? Nope. An irritating... Nosy little child just washed ashore and popped out of a pelipper's beak and is here to ruin your relationship. I've come to end your relationship. You will break up after this is over. I'm somewhere on the high seas between Duford Isle and Slateport, which I previously slacked, and I've come because this abandoned ship, which I originally sighted for Mr. Briney's boat, beckoned to be explored. Look at this thing, just washed up on this like reef. It's got a couple holes in the roof I can see already. What manner of boat is this? And what manner of weirdos will we find lurking inside it? We've come to explore this strange dilapidated ship. Well, there's one child right there without a chaperone. See, it's just going to be full of weirdos. We've already established people can swim out here. And you're only going to get more weirdos in an abandoned ship. See? First one right there. He just came for no reason other than it's fun here. What makes it fun? I guess it'd be interesting. This looks like it could be a double battle. Hang on. Would I approach from here? Well, there he is. You have been found, weirdo. Why are you so paranoid? What are you on? What are you running from, Demetrius? Are you on the run from the law? You and your zigzagoon? It's got a bandit's mask pattern on its face. You can't be trusted. No problem. Faint attack. Level 25, that's... That's sort of high level. This youngster's no joke. He's been on the run from the law for a while. This Zigzagoon has been with him. As he's evaded the cops. He's also got an electorate. Who knows what he did? Who knows what anybody who's hanging out in an abandoned ship has done in their past, you know? Eh, I don't want to mess around with this. In case it paralyzes us. Let's take it down quickly. What? Fucking sand attack. How dare you! Damn it. Spark. Okay, didn't realize. Faint attack. Damn you. How sneaky. He knows he was gonna lose, but he still had to get in that quick attack. Just to be an asshole. Just to say, ha ha, I damaged you a little more. You knew you were going down, Demetrius. I'm not your mom. Thanks for noticing that. Look. Exactly what I said. In trouble with your mom, so you ran. You're in trouble with the law. I know it. On the run, Demetrius. How about you? What shady past are you hiding? Curious about the shady individuals on board this ship more than anything. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can I can imagine why she might be here. We don't need to go and do it. 
Some things in the Pokemon world, you know, some things you just shouldn't pry into. There's some things best left unknown. Just bullet seed or Whalebur, you're done with it. Five times. Horsey. Let Wactus take charge. Whack this horsey, Wactus. Evenly matched. Let's not be too reckless, though. Hmm. Let's just absorb from now on. Blowing bubbles at a cactus. How futile. Can you imagine that? Blowing bubbles at a cactus and expecting it to do anything. A cactus appreciates the hydration. I'm sure it's freshwater hydration too, which is needed in this salty sea environment. I think a horse you would spit fresh water. It wouldn't it wouldn't like bubble and water gun salt water at you, would it? I don't know, Pokemon, water Pokemon biology. Let's be honest, it's kind of just 100% bullshit that any Pokemon can just puke a stream of water out of nothing. Who cares? Don't question it. Should I be should I be calling the people who go in here in my Pokenav? I've never tried calling anybody. Devin President. Should I try calling someone randomly? They've done it to me before. I already got two random calls by a couple people, so it's fair game. Fair game for me to harass you by Pokenav too. Oh, let's pick on a cool trainer, Wilton. Let's bother let's irritate Wilton. Top student at the oh top student at the trainer school. Let's fucking let's prank call this nerd. Oh, he thinks type doesn't matter. Strategy upset the opponent. I'm gonna upset you, Wilton. Fuck you. Oh, somebody. Oh, a little message next to him. Wonder what that means. I'm still I'm still pranking Wilton. Call him up. Pretend to be the police or something. Oh, fucking can't be made from here. What? No service, because I'm on an abandoned ship. Is that the same for everybody? Damn it. I'm isolated in this abandoned ship. I can't call anyone. Or receive calls, I assume. Mm-hmm. I guess some could be just genuinely curious. It can't be particularly safe here though, with holes in the floor. And more harbor mail. Wonder if I could give that to the harbor mail junkie in Mauville? And like bribe her for more stuff. That's how everybody knows her. She's the harbor mail junkie. Totally addicted to do it. Why are you here? You can't sail on a shipwrecked ship. Why would a sailor come to a shipwrecked ship? This is weird. Like you'd think a sailor would only ever have to be, only want to be on a, oh, there's 
Hmm. Just feel there's a little roll. That's cute. You'd think a sailor would only want to be on a operational functional ship so they could, you know, do what their name implies and sail. You can't sail on a ship that can't be sailed. What is your purpose here? That's what I'm saying. Sphere. Think a water ice tape? I like it. I like any water ice tape. I actually thought of catching a feel for this playthrough. Machuk. I won't reveal exactly what the future holds, but probably no feel. Machuk's fighting. Don't want a dark type. I want probably, probably. You know, I think a poison type could do well. Let's give a uh, big snake a little experience, maybe. Poison can handle fighting. Ahead and uh, roast it. Your my jokes getting my chard burned. <laughs> Revenge. Oh, it wasn't very effective, but it was still kind of effective. I'm lucky I got the burn. Now your my choke is my charcoal. <laughs> Big snake. Well, you're burnt more than sunk. Oh, I forgot. There is a place to dive. So I might want to even come back here later. Again. After I've uh, acquired the dive HM. What are you doing by the trash? Oh god. You're not... The, the ship isn't moving. You know what that means, dude. It means you're hungover. You drank too much. Some, some people just come onto an abandoned ship to get drunk. Have a good night, I guess. I could see finding empty beer bottles and cans here, you know. So I can't dive here, because I don't have dive, but I know I can't dive if I have dive in that deep water there. Which would have been fun. Anything to catch? Nothing at all? No Pokemon have moved in? One more try. Oh, what lives here? Let's see what watery Pokemon are living in a ship. Magikarp. Cool. Should've known. Somebody might have just abandoned that Magikarp, just dumped it in that pool of water in an abandoned ship. That's a nice dab. How many escape ropes? Might be nice to use one to get out of here as a shortcut. I'm probably just going to explore the ship as much as I can. I'm not sure if dive was necessary to do very much of the stuff here. Finding a few treasures. What I want to know is why there are unaccompanied children here. Like very young ones, younger than me, younger than Booger. Like this kid's got to be five, seven, not that old. Stop it, damn it. Cease this. Stop running around and fight me, child.
Tuber Charlie. You know, something just occurred to me. As my first two Pokemon evolved, um, as my C-Dot became a Nuzleaf, and as my Wingle became Pelipper, I never checked their Pokedex entries for their evolved forms. I should check those and just learn a bit more about my Pokemon. You only see a new entry automatically when you catch a Pokemon, not when it evolves. It should have a new entry automatically appear when it evolves, so you can just learn about your new evolved Pokemon right then and there. Let's check real quick. After I look in here. Ooh, more battles. More battles, I assume. And a revive. That's that's nice to find. Okay. Nuzleaf. A forest dwelling Pokemon that is skilled at climbing trees. Its long and pointed nose is its weak point. It loses power if the nose is gripped. It does? Aw oh, man. That's kind of lame. I wish I didn't know that. We're just gonna pretend that weakness doesn't exist. Nobody touch its nose. This Pokemon is going to um, have its vengeance on all humanity, so nobody knows. Nobody can know about its nose being a weak point. Should petition to get that taken out of the Pokedex. Pelipper, the water bird. It skims the top of waves as it flies. When it spots prey, it uses its large beak to scoop up the victim with water. It protects its eggs in its beak. Ah, that's sweet. It cares so much about its eggs that it just carries them around in its beak. Look how big it is! Now, I look at this because this is proof of the feasibility that booger, uh, the feasibility of booger riding around in this thing's bill. As you can see, if you take the figure on the right, that child could definitely curl up into a ball, real compact, like, and fit into that large bill. You can tell from the size comparison. Cool. Nice. Now I've studied up on all my Pokemon. Is this gonna be a double battle? Could be a double battle. Hmm. I wanna have Helican in to maybe use Surf. Surf is great to use in a double battle. I see how it is. Looting. Looking for treasures to sell. Bunch of people are probably doing that in here. Just looking for stuff to sell, you know. Excellent. Two bugs. Not excellent, I have a grass type in. Excellent, I have a bird though. Oh, but I have pin missile. But they're bug flying, so that'd be kind of neutral. Um. I'm a little afraid for Wactus, so I might switch it. Maybe I should let Sinfin have a chance. Okay. Put Sinfin in. And, um... Just... Try surfing. See what this does. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, you want an encore of a tidal wave that 
brings about your destruction, no problem. I'm giving an encore too. I'm giving an encore too for your utter destruction. Here comes another wave to wreck you. I hate these Pokemon, these two. I just... their design... their design makes me angry. Staring at them makes me angry. I want to destroy them. They look annoying. If something can look annoying, it's these two Pokemon. Volbeed and Illumise. Signal Beam? Holy shit! You fucking asshole! That's an obscure... That's an obscure uh, bit of Pokemon strategy right there that... Bug is strong against Dark. And I don't know why. Why is Bug strong against Dark? It's like... It's like Bug being strong against Poison in Gen 1. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. Uh... Well, I do have a revive. Send in Big Sneak. Burn it, if I can. Probably should have burnt them from the start. You're gonna register me for being angry at me? Why? So you can harass me with phone calls? Bitterly? That's what I would probably do. I eh, bet this place is a bit picked over. It's already got tons of people in it, including little children. Hmm, it's just a double battle. Let's heal. Just gonna use this revive right away. Lucky I found that. And I'm definitely gonna go back to the dispensary in Lava Ridge and get some more of that... Whatever that strain was that 100% revived Wactus. That's good shit. We need more of that. Whatever it was. It was pretty pricey, you know, but... Top shelf strain. Usually is expensive. It's worth it. My Pokemon are worth it. Um... What do I want to do? Maybe I won't heal any more than that for now. Let's go, just as is. Strength into compassion. Ogre will show you no compassion. Now look at this pair. How are they teamed up? Is that is that her dad? Is her dad a rune maniac? If your dad's a maniac, I'm not surprised he brought you to an abandoned ship. You know, maniacal parents. They do things that don't make sense. Sand Slash and Meryl. I'm okay with this. Leech. Well, just, just absorb from the Meryl. Um, actually... Let's focus on making sure the sand slash dies if possible. Let's surf. Nice. Four plus four max HP, look at that. Those are stat increases. Pelican is becoming uh, quite formidable.
Oh, why didn't you roll out the flying types? I don't know which trainer owns the Meryl, but they're not smart. They're not smart. You would use rollout on a flying type if you were smart. Something about me that sparkles. Not really. I'm not wearing anything reflective. Well, why are you doing it? Why is this guy your father? Why is he letting you walk around barefoot? Fucking give her shoes. She could get some kind of mold, like some kind of fungus or something. Or step on a piece of broken glass. This guy's an irresponsible parent if he is. If he is her dad. He's just come here for treasure, apparently. And he's blocking this door. What an asshole. I know it just goes up there. Oh. Look at this. Who is this? And what is this important looking room? I found the storage key. It's not too complicated, just just study it. If, if Booker had a few minutes to study it, she could make sense of it. We're, we're not that dumb. Huh. Stern asked him to do it, huh? You know, if somebody asked you to explore an abandoned ship with holes all over it, they may be trying to just get rid of you, like hoping you fall in one of them and disappear. The key stuck fast. What was locked away in this room, with only three chairs and a wastebasket? TM-13 Ice Beam? I was just thinking earlier that... I might have to buy that at the game corner if I ever wanted it. That's very valuable. What an awesome TM to find. Ice Beam is like one of the best moves in Pokemon history ever. It's just one of my favorites, period. Partially because I just love ice so much. And I could teach it to Helican or Sinfen. Very interesting. I'm not sure if I feel like doing this just yet, but it's a possibility. I think... I think Sinfin's got decent special attack, and when it becomes a torpedo... Not as good as attack, but still decent. Helican's got the nice special attack, though. Highest of any Pokémon I have. Could be nice. Teach Helican how to freeze things. So that's all I can do right now. Only thing I can't do in this ship is uh, dive down into that one room with the water. And I think there's some way to find the scanner on board. Which that dude Stern sent over is looking for. I could return later. It was good to be through here right now, though, because I'm about the same level as all the trainers on board. It's good to fight trainers that are around your level, you know. Nice. Look at that. We're making progress on this voyage. Almost to Slateport. And now the abandoned ship appears there. Slateport Beach. Soon I will go ashore in Slateport Beach. And then to head further east.
Look behind you. Look behind you at the Pelipper holding a child in its bill. Your liar of a boyfriend told you that you look great in a bikini? Oh my gosh. So what does that mean? Does that mean you don't look great in it? And he was lying to try to be nice to you? This is kind of scandalous. I want to know more. Meryl, send in Wactus. Make short work of her Meryl, and then make her tell us more dirty secrets about her relationships. More gossip. Yes, yes. Keep sucking that mirror dry. Just suck it, suck it dry. Eat seed and absorb. Critical hit. Mm -hmm. You just go on thinking you're complex. I'll let you just think that. You just like to be flattered, let's be honest. I, I get it, I get it, you know, people, people enjoy flattery, me too. Hmm, look at that. If I want to go ashore right where the item is, I get immediately attacked on both sides. Who do I want at the front? Wattis and Elkin. I hope it's speedy. I hope I dispatch you quite speedily. I love water Pokemon too. Yeah, I have two. I caught two of them. Got my Pelipper and uh, Carvana. Water's a good type to have. So good that I thought it would be good to have two of them. I need two water types because there are a lot of water HMs you gotta learn in this game. I wanna make the most of them. Man, Nectric? Manetric and a Wingle? Oh, I don't like a Manetric out there with Helican. Could it take Helican down? Should I test Helican's ability to withstand electricity? Maybe I will. Um, I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? This isn't the best matchup. Um, I'm gonna send in a stronger grass type that can do more damage. And... Surf. Surf is great for double battles. Swamp their side with a big wave. Oh, here it is. <gasps> oh. Holy shit, it paralyzed it too. Alright. That's good to know. 
a main enter to level 24 can almost, but not quite, take it down. Okay. Uh, please finish this. A proposition should have known. Cool trainer. Didn't help your Minetric, though. Oh, they have six Pokemon, I'm noticing. What the fuck? Another Minetric? Are you kidding me? They have multiple Minetric? Who has multiple Minetric? This is absurd. Nobody has multiple Minetric. Why do you have more than one mana trick? Why do you need more than one? How dare they? How dare you just have a revolving door of mana trick? That irritates me. One I can handle. My helicon can handle one, you know? Maybe we can handle this one too. What else you got? Let me guess, another Minetric. Screech? What else does it have right now? Okay, I don't care about lowering speed. Scary face, like, don't care. I'll replace focus energy later too, that's kinda crap. Okay, good. No more Manectric, at least. I kinda want that beeping to stop. Man, they're just getting wrecked by Surf. Excellent. Razor Wind? I don't like that Razorwind has to charge up just to do an 80 power attack. But... Hmm. Do I even want that? Hmm. Is it worth it at all? I don't think it is. A move that takes two turns and does 80 power in those two turns, I could do two faint attacks or two bullet seeds. And those moves have stab. We don't need Razor Wind. I think it's. I think my nose leaf is going to learn a different move a little later. That's going to be more worth worthwhile. Match up. I don't know how long Helican can hang on. Oop. That wasn't enough. Ooh. Another surf. Amazing. I don't think Helican has lost a turn because of paralysis a single time. You're amazing, Helican. I love you. I love you too, she does stick. Um, I think we can finish this quickly. Hmm. Acid hurts us both. <laughs> Bill can't take it down. That's what I'm talking about. Never surrender. Yeah, it wasn't cute, was it? It was just crushing, cataclysmic, calamitous. And now this grown man is crying. That's how much it affected him. The horrors of that battle. Oh, but he's already over it. Now he's ready to go in the Pokemon. 
He's a masochist. He wants to get destroyed again sometime. What do you say? Shouting uplifts you. You... yeah, do you. Whatever floats your boat, sailor. Star piece. Maybe that sells for a little more than a star of dust, which I found in the desert. Sell for a very high price. I like it. Hmm. All right. Hang on. I just have a feeling about the other side of this rock. Is there anything there? No? Okay. So many trainers out here. Oh, my team is kind of wrecked. We're gonna have to do something about that. the process. Bring the Helican back to life. How much HP does it have? 95. That's a high health Helican. You know what I'm saying? High health Helican is its nickname on the streets. Triple H. not any it's not any American wrestler it's eye health helican a tentacruel first time I've seen a tentacruel oh boy what am I gonna do Hmm. See if Helkin see if Helkin can handle it. I don't like a strong water poison tape on a against a grass tape. Are there seven seas in the waters of Hoenn for you to say, swim in? I only count like three or something, probably. Oh, what the hell? Look at this. It's a little island that somebody set up lounge chairs and an umbrella on. I don't think this was in Sapphire. I don't remember finding this. I think there's a double battle here too. All right. Someone's gonna ambush me from under the umbrella. I'm just gonna take a rest here. Oh, but I'm ambushed. Maybe it's not a double battle. It's not. Wilmer. Wactus loves Wilmers. It's its favorite food. Favorite food to just stick a straw in and start sucking that Wilmer juice out. Get a leech seed going. Get some absorbs going. Rollout won't help you. I have a plan to stop rollout in its tracks. There's plenty of sand on this beach. To kick some up and use sand attack with. To 
make sure it misses. Oh, but it already did miss. For anybody who doesn't know, you want to stop rollout before it can attack too many times consecutively. Otherwise, you'll have a... Uh, well, you'll, you'll learn the lesson that many first-time challengers of Whitney and Johto learn, and you'll get just flattened. Don't let the rollout build momentum. Let's put in... Big Snake. I really like Tentacool. One of my favorite Gen 1 water types, and there were so many. There were so many great water types in Gen 1. People take people take them for granted. They just say, oh, there were so many water types. All kinds of generic, but no. They were good. I'm a fan of water types generally. Not just in Gen 1 either. I guess I do also have two grass types though in this playthrough. With Seedistic and Wactus. There are also a lot of cool grass types in Gen 3. Two grass dark types. That's awesome. And they happen to be two grass dark types that I wanted to train. Never trained either of them. In fact, I think this whole Pokemon team of mine right now is all Pokemon I've never trained. If I did have any of them before in a past playthrough, it was so brief I basically never used them. What does that mean? I'm a big one. Big one to be? Are you saying I'm gonna get are you saying I'm gonna get fat? I'm not gonna get fat. Don't don't try to forecast my f forecast a future of fatness. How dare you? What kind of Pokemon? Is it Machoke? Is it Machoke? Is that the play on words you're making? Or not? Elijah? Bird Keeper? Oh, Skarmory. I didn't expect that. Skarmory. Skarmory is tough. What do I want to do? Um, I might... Oh, Big Snake's Flamethrower, I just thought. It's Flamethrower could be advantageous against Steel types. That's like my only super effective option here. I really don't want to switch in and let Big Snake get hit though and killed. That'd be bad. I might sacrifice Sedistic. Let's see what happens with Sedistic in here. Let me just sacrifice it. It doesn't mind. It doesn't mind occasionally being sacrificed. It just helps build more more vicious resentment inside so that it can have more fuel to extract vengeance against all humanity. It's got to keep that motivation up, you know? I know I know my Pokemon's psychologies. I know what makes them tech at this point. After five badges, we've been together a bit. Sadistic is kind of sadistic. It's just its nature. Burn that bird. Burn that bladed bird. Basically got blades for wings. Awesome. One flamethrower. So happy I got that move for my Viper. Another one. No problem. Too Skarmory. If I wasn't going to stick to just training Gen 3 Pokemon in this playthrough, I would totally get a Skarmory. You know, I'm into metal music, so deal type metal Pokemon. It makes sense. Dark types 
and stereotypes. I like both. There are quite a few Pokemon types I like, actually. A handful of them. Some I like more than others, though. I don't like Steel quite as much as Dark. Dark is way too aesthetically appealing to me. Oh, PP up! Wow! That is such a rare move, or rare item. Permanently increase the PP of a move. That'd be awesome to use against, like, some powerful. Or, that'd be awesome to use on some powerful move. Which only has, like, five or ten uses. Pretty sure Helican will learn Hydro Pump at some point. I don't know if I'll want to have that move, because it's not that accurate. Oh fuck, I never. Another. Rogue Monster Tentacle. I might not. I might not have Helican no Hydro Pump since it's not the most accurate. Surf could be better long term. Amazing how I can be surprised every once in a while with these strong tentacles floating in the ocean. Look at this thing, it just won't go down. Pain in the ass. My Pokemon are still too weak to all be able to run from these. They're kinda fast. Kinda fast when they reach level 30 something. make sure I can run more easily. <sighs> Can't believe I let Sea District go down. Oh well. Trainers around here are just kinda strong. Just go with Helican for this fight. I'm properly protected against the sun. I'm hiding in a Pelipper bill. It's perfectly shaded. No sun enters into its black... No sunlight gets into the black, empty void of its maw. Just booger peers out from the darkness. Uh, wing attack. Water sport? What water sport? Swimming? Water polo? Which water sport is your Goldeen attempting? Jet ski? Rowing? It failed, whatever it was trying. Oh shit. I forgot. I forgot she was sending in Winkle with wing attack. Uh, that was a dumb move. Just put Helican back in. Helican's strong, it can take it. You can't take my wing attack. Yeah, that's what I thought. One wing attack wonder. Goldeen. Let's see if I can have Wactus finish it up. Leech seed it. Make... Make some soup out of this fish. Suck it up. Oh, that missed. Wactus needs... to heal. Needs to be healed. 
and we're kind of low on potions. So it will feast on your goldine. Damn it, that was kind of a lot of damage. I think I can make it up though. Yeah. Good. That's right. It hurts to be attacked by a cactus monster. And for it to drain your life force away to nothing. Oh, what the hell? Another couple stranded out on an island. There are just too many trainers here. I had hoped to not have to do this, but I'm gonna have to make sure. I'm gonna have to land in Slateport and go visit a Pokemon Center, I think, before I fight every trainer out here. They're just, they're just too dense. I've already counted one, two, and I know there's another island. There's a couple on an island there, there's a swimmer, and then there's another island with more trainers on it. I admit that I didn't prepare enough for this voyage. Should have brought more super potions, maybe a revive or two. Stock up a little bit. More super potions. Oh, I already have 33,000. Saving up a lot. Already again. And, um... Maybe a few more antidotes. These are handy. Two isn't enough. And they're cheap. In the past, I used to always be so cheap with my money in Pokemon games, I would never buy any healing items. Like, nothing ever. I would just always go to a Pokemon Center, no matter how far away I needed to go to heal. But that's really not that much fun to play like that. It's cheap and thrifty, I guess. And you'll have a ton of money by the end of the game, but what happened was, all the times I did that, I never had any use for all that money. Might as well spend your earnings. Spend your earnings on some convenience, so you don't have to make as many trips around Owen, run into the Pokemon Center. I don't care about your abs. How are your Pokemon's abs? Will they help it survive in this battle? Faint attack. Critical hit. Oh, you have a Carvana. You have a Carvana. Yeah. Well, I'm going to take advantage of a type matchup here with Wactus. Focusing won't help you. I've always kind of felt like focus energy is a largely worthless move. It's not really clear how how much it increases your critical hit ratio, but for me, in every game I've tried using it, it's been like a non-factor. At least it feels that way. I don't think it's worth sacrificing a turn just to slightly up your critical hit ratio. Kind of, um. You just don't know what's gonna happen when you start gambling with Pokemon 
frequencies of attack success, you know. Kinda of best to just rely on a move with high base power. Critical hits stopped being fun after Generation 1 when Slash would always be a critical hit. <laughs> I liked it when Slash was a critical hit 100% of the time. I literally think I've never used Slash in Pokemon Red or Blue or Yellow and not have it have, had it been critical. Heh. <laughs> Disturbing your precious time. Thought you had privacy on this island? Nope. An irritating nosy little child just washed ashore and popped out of a pelipper's beak and is here to ruin your relationship. I've come to end your relationship. You will break up after this is over. You'll break up because of how thoroughly you're going to be destroyed. Like, what's going to happen is they're each going to blame each other for the other losing the battle, and their, their relationship will be over after this. That's my goal. Let's make sure that happens. Oh, come on. Ruining relationships of your foes. Mm, yes, this will work. Very good. Now she's going to be mad at him and say, Oh, your death tox is too weak. If your death tox was higher level, we wouldn't have lost this battle. You know, I've already planted the seeds. Planted the seeds of your relationship unraveling. See, I could have taken them down simultaneously with Surf, but then I wouldn't plant that seed. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That's right. Now turn your aggression on one another. Turn against one another. Let's see. Let's see what they say. Private world of two that is about to implode because of tension. Yes, he's angry with her. <laughs> Success. By the time these two leave this island, they will be bitter, bitter enemies. Excellent. Well done. Well done, my Pokemon. I can feel good about this voyage now. We broke up a couple who thought they were getting a private getaway on an island. <laughs> the voyage is a success. Who else? Who's a... Whose day can I ruin next? Is this a little family? A little family on this island who thinks they're getting a private vacation? Your children are about to cry. I'm gonna tell... I'm gonna tell Seedistic to bullet seed her inner tube and pop it. And then you won't be able to get back to the mainland without your flotation device. And your Meryl won't be able to help you because Cedistic's going to bullet seed it to death. It will be exhausted and full of welts. Pokemon. Oh, Basically how, you know, Kind of how the main characters in the Pokemon anime go around helping everybody in weird little um, side quests on their journey. Booger and her Pokemon kind of do the opposite. They're just here to mess with everybody and destroy them. Ostina? That's a weird name. Seedistic just went up and used its pointy nose to pop that inner tube, and then laughed. <laughs> oh, it's a fashion item. Well, now it's broken. Now it's popped. I will battle with you. I've come to break your dreams. Another Meryl to embarrass.
There's gonna be a news. There's gonna be a story on the news. Um, in all the Hoenn living rooms on TV. About a Nuzleaf trainer that went around giving all the Merrills on this sea route welts with its bullet seed. The menace of the beaches. Back when it knew nature power, it would also cause earthquakes on the beaches. This infant's getting a lot of experience. That's good. It's not super strong yet. <gasps> Speak of the devil. Just when I said it wasn't super strong. It is evolving. Yes. Sinfin has become a shark. Or half a shark, at least. I don't know what happened to the tail. And... Sharpedo. Nice. So cool. It's got kind of low defenses as far as stats go, but it's very fast. It's a speedy shark with very high attack. Made to just attack and just sweep enemies, you know. Just destroy them in one hit before they even get a chance to retaliate. I've always wanted to try training one. I always thought whenever a Team Aqua member was using a torpedo against me, like, especially the higher ranking members, an admin or something, I was kind of impressed at torpedo's uh, abilities. Let's have Wactus get the experience share now. Sinfin should be more independent. Might even put it out front to give it a whirl if there are any other trainers. Oh, they're not okay anymore. You put them with your Pokémon, but I destroyed those Pokémon. They are now half dead and all welted from Bullet Seed. And now they're crying. You're welcome. Pokemon. And you won't be able to get back to the mainland either because I just destroyed your Pokemon, which presumably they used to surf after. They will die on that little island. And so concludes our lovely little voyage. Nice. I don't think there's any place on the sides of this beach to go. Yeah. Very good. Now. Let's head north a bit. Cycling road. Da. How many times has this guy seen me come through here with a bike? And every time I'm not on a bike, he says, Oh, you can't come without a bike. But he knows I have it. I know you remember. He's just being an asshole. Oop. Damn it. Get out of the way. So irritating how crowded the cycling road can be. Look at this. You can't even cycle freely. Without people just getting in your way and you hit them. Oh. Now. I think we're going to have to take Watson's little mission that he has for us. I took one detour across the ocean. Done with that, but now I need to take this little detour. One final task. It's taking me forever to make my way up to Fortree, but I'll get there. 
This is for sure, for real, the last thing I will do before going east. So, next time, we'll talk to Watson, see exactly what he wants us to do. And uh, I already know it involves a power plant, but that'll have to wait until the next episode.